In this video we are going to see how to work with Siri on your Mac or how to enable it. By default it should be over here. This is this. what can I help you with. It's pretty good. It listened to me and uh, uh, I'm not sure I understand. Okay so click it on again. Show me India battles New Zealand on Friday at 5 a.m. Hmm, that's interesting. Show me the schedule for the next train. No, okay. Show me the schedule for the next train. Here's what I found. What does Quantico means. Here's some information. So this is pretty interesting. It's it can understand me perfectly even though I have an accent. All right, so let's see. Distance between Columbus and Dublin. I'm not sure exactly how far it is from Columbus to Dublin, Ireland by car, but it's about 3,579 miles as the crow flies. Distance between Columbus, Ohio and Dublin, Ohio. Dublin is about 16 miles from Columbus by car. So you can see it's pretty good, Siri. Uh, it's understanding me perfectly well. I can oh, let's show me the files. Here you go. Okay, yeah, these are the file and actually this one is the most recent one I downloaded. So you, you can see that you can uh, not only search the web, but you can also search your local computer as well. That's pretty neat. But now what if you don't have Siri on your, uh, <coughs> on the, this task, task bar? Uh, the other shortcut is pressing command and spacebar that will activate Siri. You can see it's right there. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Shortcut, keyboard shortcut to activate Siri on Mac. Keyboard shortcut to activate Siri on Mac. Here's what I found. Okay, so it's not, uh, I thought that it would give me a tip, but it did not. So if uh, to activate, if you don't have this icon, uh, there are two meanings. Either you chose to remove it from here, there, or it's simply not enabled. If you chose to remove it, then the command key and the space bar will work. It should bring up Siri. If not, and it's not been enabled, <coughs> let's find out how to enable that. So we'll go to system preferences. Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. <laughs> so you can see it's hold, hold command and space. That's the keyboard shortcut. Listen for Hey Siri. Do you want to wait for uh, Siri to uh, actually, you know, address it by saying hey siri and then it will start listening to you uh, the voice variety what kind of voice like american or what accent indian and all that oh indian they have an indian one okay siri history do you want siri to delete or not and all that now here is the enable one that's what the one we want to talk if i disable it oh sorry cancel now you can see that it's gone now even if i press the hold and command it won't work because it's been great and it's not enabled but if i but if you are like if you did not have it enabled already you can come here enable it if you are concerned about the privacy i strongly suggest to go read this and know how the data is being used sometimes these uh, uh, s personal data even though they say that it's been deleted it's it is still stored there so if you have serious privacy concerns do read this find out how they 
what happens when you choose to delete your data how long does it take how long they keep it copy or or does it or it's simply not accessible well, i think with twitter uh the news came that uh, all your tweets all your pictures videos every single thing is just not accessible to you after 30 days but it's still stored on twitter uh, servers it means that uh, if you enable your account after 30 days you still don't get access to date your own tweets but twitter does so like i said if you have serious serious privacy concerns go read this otherwise if you don't care just enable it and here it is it's back and hopefully this video has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next one